In this video, we're going to take you on a food tour of what we ate while on a lure of the seas. Right after this. Hello, I'm Jeremy and welcome to Taze Your Travel. If you like travel tips and travel vlogs, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. Let's get started. When we first got on the ship, we headed to Park Cafe. But unfortunately, I don't have any video of the roast beef sandwich that I ate there. For dinner that evening, we headed to the main dining room, the American Icon Grill, where for appetizers, I had a crab cake and Missy had French onion soup. For our main entrees, Missy had prime rib, cooked medium rare, and I had the fish, seafood and mash, which was basically just battered fish with shrimp and mashed potatoes. Next, we had a four night specialty dining package for this cruise. And for dinner the next night, we went to Chop's Grill. We each had a blue cheese wedge salad. And for our entrees, I had a ribeye steak and Missy had the filet with baked potato. We also ordered an assortment of sides that were served family style to share with the rest of the group at our table. For dessert, it was apple pie a la mode for Missy and chocolate cake for me. The next morning for breakfast, it was off to Johnny Rockets. Unlike lunch here, breakfast is complimentary. I had the standard breakfast fare, eggs, toast with sausage and bacon. I also had some French toast for lunch, it was a quick bite at the Boardwalk Doghouse. For dinner, it was Azumi, the Japanese steakhouse, to use our second meal of the specialty dining package. They served up edamame and a salad to start as we enjoyed the show put on by our chef, cooking our meals right in front of us on the Tapanyaki Grill. <laughs> One last time in my mouth. Thank you very much. Right? <laughs> it was filet for both and served up with a side of grilled veggies and fried rice. I ended the meal with some mochi ice cream balls. The next day, we were headed to Cozumel, Mexico, so we ordered room service. Just some juice and milk with some donuts and pastries to get our day started. Back on board for dinner that evening, we first went to the main dining room and only had a small appetizer. The rest of the menu didn't appeal to us, so we headed over to Sorrento's Pizza for some great pizza, perhaps some of the best pizza at sea. Breakfast the next morning was again in the room as we headed into Roatan, Honduras for the day. Same as the day before, donuts and pastries. And once back on board, we went to Samba Grill, the Brazilian steakhouse on board Allure of the Seas for our third specialty dining restaurant. Serving up different cuts of meat, carved table side, along with a multitude of different items served from their salad bar and buffet. The next day found us in Costa Maya, Mexico. I don't have any footage from breakfast at the Solarium Cafe, but that afternoon we used our free meals at Johnny Rockets. Guests staying in a boardwalk balcony get a free meal for up to four people staying in the cabin at Johnny Rockets. We started out with lots of french fries and onion rings with a round of refills. We found ourselves pretty full even before the hamburgers came. This was a great meal and left us so full that we only had some late night pizza to end our day. Our last day was at sea headed back to Miami. I don't have any breakfast or lunch video but for dinner we used our last meal on our specialty dining package to go to Giovanni's table. Italian food served mostly family style. Caprese salad and some meats and cheese were served up with fresh bread 
and oil and balsamic for dipping. I also had the pork belly for an appetizer and fettuccine carbonara. They also brought her table a big plate of lasagna served up family style to share. For dessert, I had the cannolis, and Missy had chocolate gelato. On debarkation day, we decided to head to the main dining room for breakfast and relax a little on what is otherwise a hectic morning. Eggs Benedict and bacon for me, and an omelet with bacon and sausage for Missy. It was a nice way to end our cruise. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.